Making much of a phone now. Well, Utilising my new glass sponge. That time I had a new one, the old one was definitely from the other day. Shame I, have, shame I haven't got any nail polish on the nails this week so I'm making full use of it I do my bath time but I'm doing a bath time nail polish free this week just to show my new sponge <laughs> yeah so pretty messing me around out there sitting on my steps I nearly got, nearly got drawn on didn't you yes what a what do you think then? <laughs> you put a new paw on it. There's no good sitting on it. It's what are you standing on it for? Oh, you are funny. <laughs> Great big paw coming up. Great big feet on the time. Found these very old postal pat postcards at my friend's house. And merchants have been counting their wares on the um, streets since it was the capital. That's so sweet. And as a result, I like the original postman pad. I've got the DVD. So if we want to understand but unfortunately, they put the modern hey music with it and it doesn't go with it. But loads of the old ones are on YouTube and they're great. So, um, when we've got these things at the back. Postman Pat postcard. Gates, Isn't that sweet? Huh. I, I know this one. I've seen this is a more so recent so one now. Oh, I there's a different All picture on there. Really Pat and Jess. Postman Pat the postcard. Like oh. on Granny Dryden, speech, isn't it, and the vicar? Pat and his van, waving, and yeah. Theatres and shops and restaurants. Oh, that's and nice. And all the, these were all part of the fabric <laughs> of the high street in the 19th, early 20th century. Post shop, that's something you don't see anymore. I don't see any, any, don't don't see any post office shops, which is a damn shame. They're talking on Radio 4 at the moment, on Moneybox Live, about the shops all closing. And, oh, it's depressing. 
Hopkins, I'm not keen on this ACL news on Asda and Sainsbury's, definitely not. As I've said before, in other... I don't know, and the Woolworths, they just mentioned closing. Oh, it's just the awful time. Do you know how of Fraser's closing the stores? Oh, God, where are this going to end? All the quality shops, and yet all the really cheap, horrible places seem to do well. I went into a B&M store, and they were packed, and I didn't buy a thing in there. I thought it was a horrible place. Didn't like it at all. Didn't like anything in there. I'd rather have home bargains. I think B&M's horrible. Well, this woman just said she won't go to the high street because of the parking charges. Well, be like me, don't drive. But as this woman just said on the radio, a few years ago, people didn't drive anywhere. They, because not everybody had cars. And um, no, it's just like you know, it's so expected. I'm the odd one out round here because I don't have a car. I don't want to drive. I'm not polluting the atmosphere. Front guards being destroyed everywhere you look for cars and and the, uh, oh, oh well that's all right don't get me started on them the, oh the government should bring in laws to forbid gardens being destroyed and there's too many cars there's pollution no wonder i'm sneezing all the time it's all the fumes from chimneys and car exhausts and after all if there were less cars public transport would be more efficient Situation. Oh, oh, it makes me angry. And Debenhams is in trouble as well. Oh, for goodness mm -hmm. sake, it just gets worse. <laughs> she says, oh, what's that, another dolly? Oh, it's just a new outfit, but I'm, the hat doesn't fit her, so I shall take this off and put this on. So not the right kind of blue to match her tattoo. So somebody is hidden away behind Teddy. Honestly, it's unbelievable. I'm one of those people that like everything perfect. I get a bit obsessive if it's not. And um, I bought this, even though I didn't particularly like it, but because I've got all the others and I thought I wanted to collect them all, and then I'd, the man who normally serves me, that there were so many people queuing, and I was in a hurry because I'm running behind today, so I went to the self-service checkout, and because they don't give you enough space on those things at the side of the shelf that you put everything on when you finished, this fell down, fell up, bounced onto, off my toe, hurt my foot, and then landed on the ground, and it's all dented in, and I've tried to... I've tried to... Uh, what do they call it when you try and undent a, can, a thing from the inside with a key? And I've made it a bit better, but, oh, just about sums it up. I wish I stayed home today. Now this trolley, it's just broken my shoe. It's got caught under it, and it wouldn't, because it wouldn't go across the road, and now it's broken my shoe. So, I mean, look how I've look what's happened to my shoe. I would like to eat one of these, but I'm frightened to get it out in case something else goes wrong. Because it gets you like this. But honestly, I just don't believe this day. I just don't believe it. Well, this Steffi Love fashion pack, I intend giving to Morgana here. But um, the shoes don't stay on her feet, but they do actually go on Lucinda's feet. But I don't think it really suits Lucinda that much because of her colouring's too pale for this. And um, But at least the shoes go on her feet, but they're not likely to stay on, they just fall off. And I don't think she'll be able to hold on to the bag because she's non-articulated. But it does look nice on her, this dress. Yes, it looks nice on her. As long as her necklace is turned round back to front the other way, that goes with it as well. So that's, that is nice for an alternate outfit. But I'm going to try it on Morgana as well. There we are on Morgana, but the shoes won't stay on her feet. So I've only got to... I'm not going to do it, because if I move her slightly, they'll fall down. I won't be able to find them. So, um... But she can hold on to the bag... As it's silver, I did think of giving it to um, Candice, but I will try in a moment to see what it looks like on her, but it looks nice on Morgana. 
well actually yes it does look nice on candies here <coughs> sorry about my voice going as usual yeah it does look nice on her so maybe uh, it does suit her I thought a silver dress would suit her it goes with her silver hair streak her hair so pretty with that glitter so um, yeah I think she can have well she can wear this for now for a while I won't bother to put the shoes on her because she's got those ones and she's got these rubbery legs and it's more difficult to get anything on them a little haul from yesterday this is a cool bag I got from Waitrose I like the colours of it I thought it was very 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 nice indeed and as for that I've already shown about this this candle all dented in now I did try to straighten it out I thought it fell on my foot and then my shoe got broken because it got caught up in the trolley oh what a Right, to continue, I've got some of those from the health food store, some more of these. Um, and this is a new one because they'd, they'd got, the tuna one was all gone, so I got um, whole grain with beans. I don't know what this one's going to be like. I'm sure it'll be nice. These nice plates from Tesco. I'm uh, not Tesco. Oh, I'm sorry. Waitrose would be disgusted. They hate Tesco. And I think Tesco hates Waitrose. There's silly warfare between the two. But anyhow, this nice plate from Waitrose. Very pretty colour. That's the colour that um, I was talking about in my last video. That, that blue, that bedtime bear is care bears is meant to be and it was more this color this is a pretty what pretty color isn't it and then this is a bigger one but like that only without the background color apart from around the edges that edge color that's the color that that care bears <laughs> bedtime bear should have been but it's a nice cut but they're not china they're like melamine 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 so and there's somebody eating her waitrose terrine with salmon. <laughs> this is what it's like inside. See, I tried to straighten it out, and I just sort of... It was perfect when I bought it. It's so annoying. They don't give you enough space on the side and things fall off when you're doing the self-service checkout. How do you put the paws down? <laughs> oh, funny little paw. I've got some acid free tissue paper for the dolls and from off office out there. Now, I wonder if I can get some Gorilla Glue then. Oh, that here, that looks of things. Um, Cute. 
if you draw. Massive hall for Mazda. We'll open to this later, we we'll have time. That's a lovely crown. It's a lovely cake, strawberry. They're delicious. They are delicious. Really nice. This is the um, shimmer palette that was free with Shout magazine. I think it's still in the shops. And what I mean is if you run that little finger along just the yellow, you can get yellow eyeshadow or any of the colours in there. You can, you can use it like the whole thing to blurred as a highlighter. Or you can just have like the green or the blue, which is not showing much, or the pink, or the lovely yellow. Oh, I've just discovered something though. I'm rather afraid, I think the colour, the shimmer colour is only on the very surface and if you scrape it off it's pink underneath. So the whole thing is probably pink underneath. I was hoping it was solid all the way through the colours. Because, but if you're very careful, like I say, use your little finger, you can just use like the blue or the green. But as you can see, I've scraped a bit off and it looks like it's all pink underneath. Like some of the Claire's now polish, I mean, sorry, Claire's eyeshadows I've bought in the past that look lovely and glitter, like real glitter. But that's only on the very surface layer and underneath it's just plain and it was disappointing. Or maybe some, but no, this one you can see is pink underneath the surface layer. But it's still nice. I'm pleased I've... I thought I'd get these for um, the dollies. What do you think of Grace in this? It's a little bit short for her. She's not used to wearing something so short. She's used to wearing longer things. But it looks very nice. It's quite sweet. Very pretty. Right, I, I couldn't resist her. The thrift, thrift shop. This La La Loopsie. This is cloudy sky, isn't it? With the blue eyes and the pink and white. Oh, so I just couldn't resist. I was so pleased that she was still there when I went past. They had another La La Loopsie not long ago, but when I went back, it, uh, she was gone. I think she might have been dual sparkles or someone. I'm not sure, but um, this one is the one I like, the pink and white. I've got the um, Cloudy Sky Girls dolls. I've got two of those because... Cloudy Sky is one of my favourites, that and Minty Stripes. Oh, and I got these, there were two, so I, I thought, yeah. I mean, she never had the little dog with her, the little poodle, so whoever gave her to the thrift shop obviously left the little dog behind and didn't bother with that, but, I mean, didn't bother to give it to the shop or the, it was sold separately, but she should have had, like, a little white poodle, but never mind. She got these two little mice instead. There was one with her and there was another one in the shop and I thought one looked slightly pinker than the other so I had to have them both and now I'm going to enjoy my cappuccino bar and I've got these nice dresses for the dollies from China. I thought maybe Maya here can have one, she needs a blue dress and maybe Susie can, though she's likely to go into Alice mode if she wears this but there's our Grace with it on and there's Candice with that Steffi Love dress on. Like and there's this nice red one I got for um, and it, it's Lucinda here. Oh, Maya looks lovely in this, and it matches her tattoo. So at last I've got something sorted out for her to wear. Uh, it does look nice. Very pretty. It was a snug fit around the top, but she's got it on and it looks nice on her. So that's her sorted out now with something to wear. Very nice, Maya. Very pretty. Susie's now Alice. She's gone into Alice mode because she's wearing this. I knew she would. She wants the blue one as well. She said, I want that blue one. But no, no, no. I've given it to Maya. Oh dear. And Maya's allowed Susie to try it on because Susie's making such a fuss and went into Alice mode. And she's still in Alice mode, of course. What was that, Susie? I'm sorry, I mean Alice. No, you can't have it. I've given it to Maya. She said, but it doesn't fit her. Yes, I, it does fit her. It doesn't fit her properly, she's saying. It, it, well, 
It does fit her, maybe not as well as it fits you. It's too small for her, she said. It, well, mm. I should have it. Ah. Well, if anything, you know, you've got the pink one because you've got your pink hair streak. If anything, the blue one should be for your sister Lorelei because she's got a... She's got a blue hair streak in her hair. Mmm! Yes, Susie. Maya will let you borrow it sometimes. No, I'm not going to give it to Lorelei, even though it would look good on her. It's not her style. Oh, dear. Well, it's only your style when you're Alice. Let's face it. It does look nice, yes, it looks very, very nice on you, it does. It suits you, yes, it suits you. Yes, it looks better on you than it does on Maya. Well then, well then, she's saying, well then, I need, to, I should have it. <sighs> well, for, look, Maya hasn't got anything else to wear. She, yes, she has, she's got that dress of Kiona's. But, yes, but she wants to wear something different for a while. You can have the pink one on, and then you can wear this another time. Oh, dear. You have to appease Susie, especially when she's in Alice mode. <laughs> oh, dollies. Dull trouble. Are you appeased slightly now? I need a new blue headband to go with this. Hmm. Yes. Okay. See what we can do, Alice. Oh, yes, doesn't Alice look pretty? Hmm. Alice looks very nice. Mm. Oh, don't they look good? These are nice little dresses. I'm very impressed with the um, the outfits for dolls you can get from um, sellers in China. They're really nice. And oh, they look good. Oh, look, looks diff gives some different looks. Grace is very elegant and ladylike. Maya is sort of urban. And Susie, of course, is in Alice mode when she wears this type of thing. Right, I've given Grace this nice little yellow bag to go with this. And um, Magenta's had a change as well. She's got her summer skirt on now. We've taken this one off. And um, I think she can have her pink shoes on as well. Now that blue does go with her colour scheme, does it not? Those blue shoes do go with her top. Nice. Right, there's um, the sh her pink shoes. I'm not sure... I think they're okay, but um, the blue ones stay on better, so I think I'll put the blue ones on again for now. There we go, those two friends together there. Poor little Daisy Petals is hidden away behind them both, but... but I've given Grace these little shoes to go with this outfit, which looks nice, but they do fall off very easily, so... There's Grace in her new outfit for spring. Well, we're nearly summer now, let's face it, the weather's more like summer, but um, I suppose it's quite nice, her outfit. Grace is wearing her spring green shoes as opposed to her normal green shoes. Right, it's a gloriously sunny day, though not in here of course, and my laptop is currently like this at the moment. I get the picture back by wedging something in down there and um, it's cracked the back of the lid as well because I keep having to do it and now I've got the pictures gone into three I don't know if you're picking up you can see that it's gone into three sections so um, I'm having to make sure that the cursor's there and that, yeah anyhow I'm used to it because it's done it before it's not something I like but I'm going to put the light on anyway because it's still dark in here even though it's a bright sunny day and it's the brightest that they've had for a very long time on bank holiday in May. There it is the 7th isn't it? It's, and, um, it's the, the latest. This stupid friend, my stupid friend, he thought last Monday was bank holiday he said he didn't go to work that day because he thought it was bank holiday and he said oh well he said it was eight, it was um eight, April the first or some uh, no May the first um the day before and I, I can't remember 
no, 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 no. Hang on, let me get this right. He didn't go to work last Monday because he said it was the nearest day to April the to Mar May the. He's, see, he gets me confused. It was April the thirtieth last Monday. So he said that was the bank holiday. I said no, it's not. I said it's the first Monday in May, and he argued and argued and argued. I said I didn't know what I was talking about. He's, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. He said it's. Everybody knows it's it's the nearest to the the first of May, so that's April the thirtieth. I said no. I said they don't have the May bank holiday in April. But he argued and argued and argued, and it was only when I proved it on the calendar, and then he just said how stupid they were for being for getting it wrong, because this is what he's like, you see. Like um, if he breaks something, even if it's something of mine, there's not a word of apology, and it's like oh well, that's it's a stupid thing because it's not made properly in the first place. If I break something, especially if it was something of his, I'd have to give him the money for it, and I'd be stupid for breaking it. So that's you know that's oh. Yeah, that's the sort of person he is. But he's such a nice person. Everybody thinks, you know, he's one of the nicest people you could wish to meet because that's how he appears. And he, I don't know what I'm going on. What am I going on like this? I suppose because it affects me so much because oh, I've lost so many friends that have moved away from where I live and um, some have actually died. And uh, anyway, what am I going on about this? I got her from the thrift shop and... Uh, yeah, cloudy sky. Very nice she is too. My little friend downstairs is coming. Look at this nice bag from Poundland. Take me to the beach, it says. That should, that's where I should be today. But if I go down there, it'll be crowded with people. And then I'll be ending up picking up all their rubbish off the beach, which they leave all over it. And of course, it's fashionable now to take plastic bottles off the beach. I've been doing it for years. And I go down there and I see rubbish everywhere. I thought, what about the environment? what's wrong with people just mainly selfish a lot of it the people that do that sort of thing selfish ignorant yeah I've got these from under thrift shop unfortunately the people that actually care are in a tiny minority I think the great British public generally speaking is selfish and don't care about anything except having a good time and going out and drinking and getting drunk and oh they say well you mustn't judge people but those sort of people certainly judge everybody else oh but that's all right they're allowed to yeah don't i'm keep saying don't get me started because I, I suppose i have so much of it around me that's why and it you know it affects me but anyhow those plates were from waitrose this also from Waitrose. My lovely candle as I don't know why I got it because I dropped it on my foot in the stupid store and dented it. I'm being like him now, calling the store stupid, being like my friend. Oh dear. These Revlon are very, very good. Kiss balm from Poundland. The thing in the store didn't recognise them on the self-service checkout, so I had, sometimes they snatch them away from you and won't let you buy them when that happens. So um, I was able to do it through the check. The, the, the you know someone served me eventually. Iced melon. I oh, love these things. Marshmallow. I got this one from Superdrug, and I got this one from Boots. And toffees and cream. I got that from Boots. Vanilla. There's another vanilla as well, different something vanilla or vanilla something. And this one, rose petals. So I got those from Boots. And in Peacocks, I've got some nice... hair thing. Those. And... nice top it's a cold shoulder one which I don't particularly like but I do like the oh having to make sure I'm in the right place is even more difficult when I've got the picture in three bits in the wrong all in the wrong place so the middle is like over that side of the screen and then one the that side is like in the middle and <laughs> yeah I suppose I'm used to it because it's been like it before but uh 
because I don't I won't get a new laptop because I don't want Windows 10 because it's got no Windows Live Movie Maker which I use and I like and uh, this nice top from Peacock's no doubt making me look lilac because that's what it does when it sees yellow on the webcam and this nice skirt from Peacock's let me try and turn that round the picture doesn't go see it's knee length I won't try it on now I don't think that's necessary you can see it quite well and no doubt it's made everything go in shades of grey because that's what the laptop does the webcam does when it sees dark colours <sighs> Grace in her new outfit for bank holiday very spring like only the, the actual temperature is far more summer than spring, which is nice. I'm not complaining about that. That's lovely. At least the weather's nice. If nothing else is, at least the weather is. I've got so many coat hangers now. I, I shouldn't collect them, should I? It's so stupid. I'll bring them back because I think, oh yeah, they'll be useful. And now I'm absolutely inundated with coat hangers um, from places like Two. Uh, I've got I've got some from Kylie and M and Co, but I don't mind those because they don't normally give them away and from the Kylie. And I've got the load, loads of Asda ones now, loads of F and F from Sainsbury's. So yeah. So um oh I forgot yeah isn't he cute? There's your giraffe, the Toys R Us giraffe. So lovely to go with my Ellie elephant from that I got. Yay.